everybody, it's Will, or hashtag baking actor slash opera chorus member. Uh, today, I'm going to show you how to make some cookies that I've been taking to my opera rehearsals at Cincinnati Opera, and um, a lot of people ask me to give them the recipe, and that's how I know is a good cookie, because they're like, oh my gosh, I want to try this. So, um, it's basically a sister cookie, if you will, not a sister wife, but a sister cookie, because you need two, 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 and then I've made a couple of twists on it to give it a little bit extra um, flavor and rise to the cookie. So anyway, today we're making a chocolate, dark chocolate and salted caramel chip with sea salt uh, on top. Um, it, they are delicious. Okay. So basic way to make a cookie and then you add the flavor, right? So I've got two sticks of butter that I'm going to cream. I know. Okay, I just got that kind of started. Now, that was room temperature butter. Then I'm gonna add a quarter cup of vegetable shortening. And because it's just fat, a tablespoon of water. Into my butter mixture. Cream this together a little bit. All right, so I got that kind of creaming. Now, the next main ingredient into the creamed butter mixture is sugar. In this cookie in particular, I'm using um, a cup and a half of granulated sugar and then a half a cup of dark brown sugar. Uh, it gives them just a little bit of chewiness and uh, the density is really great. And the dark brown sugar goes really well with the cocoa powder because there, it's a chocolate based cookie. So pour all your sugar in there and mix. All right. So, I've got my sugar and my buttercream together, and now I'm going to add two teaspoons of vanilla extract. And get that and combine just a little bit so it doesn't splash everywhere. And then I've got two eggs that I brought to room temperature. And what I'm going to do is add them one at a time. I'm going to cut it off so that I don't... One. And your dough kind of looks like it's starting to separate a little bit, but don't worry, it's not. And two. There we go. Okay, so that's my wet ingredients. Now for my dry ingredients. I am using three cups of all-purpose flour, one teaspoon of baking soda, going in and then here is the trick okay so I have to be honest I've used the recipe that's on this bag right but I added a couple of things to make it a little bit more cakey and they're delicious okay so I've added a one cup of baking cocoa which is a, a pale chocolate color and then I bought some um, dark chocolate special blend um, Dutch chocolate powder I'm going to put that in my mixture here. And then my little friend, I will whisk together both or all three, four of these ingredients. It looks kind of pale and gray, but it won't be. It's delicious. Okay. So I'm going to take a quarter cup at a time and put it into my wet mixture here and slowly incorporate it. I tried doing it fast and what happened when it went like that. So I'm gonna get all this in here and I'll show you what it looks like. Okay, I've got all of my dry into my wet incorporated and this is what it looks like. So far, we have no yummy salted caramel goodness in it. But now it's time for the salted caramel goodness. You could call it butterscotch, maybe, but I like salted caramel better. Just gonna pour this whole package in here, about half at a time, maybe do it into thirds, and then fold, which is stick down in the middle, turn. Twist your bowl, stick down in the middle, turn. Until all of your chips are incorporated pretty evenly throughout 
your cookie dough. The oven preheated to 350 degrees and I've lined baking sheets with parchment paper. Um, I like to use Reynolds parchment paper because it has um, a measuring plot on it so you can kind of tell the size. All right, so I've got all my chips incorporated into my dough. This would be a really cool cookie to give out for Halloween because of the colors. You know, we always think of black and orange as Halloween, so this is a great cookie for Halloween time. So I'm taking just a small ice cream scooper here and dolloping one. Okay, so I got my first pan here. And here is my trick that I like to do. Just take the palm of your hand, stick your ball in the palm of your hand, and roll it around. This gives the edge a little bit, just more of a glossy edge when it puffs up. Put it on your parchment paper. I like to put them about two inches apart or so, because if not, you will get some sisters that will combine together every once in a while. This recipe, they don't spread much, but you never know, the atmosphere may be wrong today and they spread everywhere. So these go in the oven for 10 minutes. And what I like to do is put one sheet in on the top for five minutes. And then uh, while I'm getting my next sheets ready, then after five minutes, put this sheet on the bottom and the other one on the top. So it gives you a bit of a rotation in your oven. And that also makes the bottom of them crisp a little bit better, but they don't cook too fast so you don't burn them. So anyway, these go in the oven for 10 minutes and then I'll show you what they look like and the next step. Okay, so these have been in the oven for 10 minutes. Then I've got my other pans going. Um, and here is the secret ingredient. I'm taking some kosher salt, and before these cool, before I take them off the pan, I'm just putting a little kosher salt on top of each one of them. There's no salt in the recipe. I tend to use salted butter because I think that unsalted butter leaves things a little bit bland. But they need just a little kick of salt with all that chocolate in there. So put a little bit of kosher salt on top of them. Let these cool completely. Uh, let them cool for about two minutes on your pan. Put them on cooling racks and let them cool completely. And then I'm gonna take them to opera rehearsal. Um, you can reuse your parchment paper so you don't have to use new parchment paper every time. The parchment paper will go until 450 degrees. So you can use you know, your three sheets of parchment paper throughout the whole process. And um, there you go. So. Remember, I'm Will, or hashtag baking actor. Tell me what you think. Like, comment, share, follow me on Pinterest, follow my Instagram so you can see all my confections, and uh, let me know. Let me. I want to know what you like. Um, I, I had people ask me for this recipe, and you know, do you have a recipe you want me to try? Let me know. Let me know. Bye. I'll see y'all next time.